You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodriguez for our Black and White Sports. Here we are again, yet again, with another NFL player that is in trouble this time for allegedly a very violent act. This isn't the first time he's been in trouble. This is a former Dallas Cowboy, current Carolina Panther, just signed a $6.9 million deal in free agency, and here he is uh, potentially in some big, big trouble. Wow. Panthers linebacker Damian Wilson arrested for assault was arrested last week in Frisco, Texas, following an altercation involving ex-girlfriend Ryan so Sokolowski, whom he allegedly threatened to kill. He also allegedly assaulted someone else after he a reported dispute between Wilson and Sokolowski. Wilson appeared at her residence making serious threats. While at her apartment, Wilson choked a member of her family who was there as well. Then she alleg alleges that Wilson nearly ran her over as he left the scene. Wow, there he is right there as a former Dallas Cowboy WFAA up in Dallas reported this. So Kowalski spoke with the Dallas Morning News regarding the incident. Quote, I was screaming like I'm being skinned alive, the woman said. He thinks all of this is a joke because he's rich and he thinks he's going to get out of everything. Wilson additionally slammed Sokolowski's laptop to the ground. According to reports, Wilson was arrested and charged with two counts of aggravated assault using a deadly weapon back in 2017. Wilson was first drafted by the Dallas Cowboys in 2015. He joined the Chiefs. Between the 2019 and 2020 season, played with the Jags last year. The Panthers then signed Wilson to a two-year, $6.9 million contract over the offseason. Wilson, of course, as you can expect, denied the allegations through his legal team. Wow, here we are again. Here we are again in the NFL. This is the reason the NFL is called the National Felon League. I mean, my God, it's just one one case right after the other, right after the other, involving NFL players. Uh, I've slammed a lot of these players for the lack of self-awareness, of not understanding how good they really, truly do have it. They're making millions of dollars playing a game, and I understand they work their asses off to stay in peak physical condition, and in turn, many of them will get generational wealth out of it you know but you got a lot of these same players slamming the league as racist as they become wealthy off said league i mean idiots let's be real okay a lot of these guys are just not smart and it's odd what is it with the dallas cowboys being involved at some point with something it's absolutely crazy i know he's with the panthers now but he had trouble in 20, 2017. I, look, I think the only way Goodell can ever solve this, start start banning these guys out of the league. I mean, look, it's pretty well known that there are a group of NFL teams out here out there that when it comes time to draft, players like this or, or any players that had trouble in college, they just remove them from their draft boards. They, they consider them undraftable and will not draft them. But as, until owners start seeing things like character as much as talent, this is going to continue to be one of the league's biggest black eyes. Winning trumps all in the NFL. Tell me what you think, black and white sports fans. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.